Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the best YouTuber on the platform. I saw some comments from you guys calling me the best YouTuber and I usually try not to let comments go to my head, but I've seen it enough that I am the best YouTuber. It, I'm amazing. Anyway, let's get onto this video. I bought stuff. In this box, I have bought real props that they use in professional movies that it's supposed to give off some kind of special effect. Even in the past, I've tested out stuff they use in professional movies. Like I once tested out a tear stick that's supposed to help professional actors fake cry, which I think I did great at that. I made it look very realistic. I also tried breakable glass. A lot of stuff like that you can just buy online. So I thought it'd be fun if I bought them and I test to see how well they actually work. Starting with this one because I'm genuinely nervous about it and I just want to get it out of the way. In a lot of movies they have usually have fake blood, usually in like a horror movie or something. But this right here is blood eye drops that you're supposed to put in your eye and it's supposed to give the effect that you're bleeding from your eye. It sounded pretty interesting, but when I actually got this, I thought about it, and I don't know if I want to be the one to actually be putting this in my eye. But I'm gonna. Okay, I think it's in my eye. Oh, this probably looks horrifying. Ah! <laughs> oh my god, it looks like I got an extreme case of pink eye. It looks like someone farted directly in my eye. Okay, wait, let me put it in both my eyes. Where'd I put the towel? Oh my god, my whole vision is red! <laughs> Look at me! Literally, it's like I have red sunglasses on. So it says it's supposed to go away in like 10 to 15 minutes, which I hope. It looks like I just got beat up, but in the fight they only targeted my eyes. The next item, now if this one works, I am not going to be looking very hot. Even less hot than I was like a minute ago. Sometimes in movies you need to give off the effect that like your teeth are rotting or they're not that good. Like, I don't know if you're playing a hobo role. So they created makeup or some kind of paint that you put on your teeth and it's supposed to make your teeth look rotten. But I decided to go all the way and just get black colored teeth things. So it should, it should make it look like I have no teeth or missing teeth. I'm getting it in my, on my tongue. It kind of tastes good though, not gonna lie. If I look like this, this, this would not get me far in life, I think. I, like immediately my IQ drops by like 20. What would happen if I put this on all my teeth? Oh God, I just looked in the mirror. It's like nothing is there, I only have gum. This is my smile. This is literally gonna be me at 90 with no teeth. Actually, no, I take care of my teeth. I'm not gonna have, no. This should almost be motivation. You wanna keep your teeth. Take care of your teeth. The next product, let's do, let's do this one. I really should have done this one in the beginning so I had it the whole video. Obviously, a lot of movies have like some kind of fight scene that after the fight scene, they need to have like a realistic looking cut on the actor. So they sell realistic looking cuts that you just slap on your body and in an instant, I should be able to have a realistic looking cut. <laughs> it's kind of shiny. Why is it shiny? Oh, okay, I get it. Is it? <laughs> it's falling off. Honestly, neither of them came out that good. You know what this looks like? It reminds me of fear of mine. I used to wear a necklace, the tampon necklace. When I used to wear that necklace, I always feared that someone would just come up and just start like strangling me with it. And I feel like a cut would probably look like this. It looks good as long as you don't get an up close shot. The up close shots, you can like see the flesh coming off. Okay, moving on. This one, I am not looking forward to how I'm gonna look with this one, but it's used in a lot of movies. So I feel like if I'm doing this video, I have to. I bought a bald cap. So once I put this on my hair, the only issue with this one that it might not turn out that good is that you have to like blend the makeup to match your skin color. I don't know how to do that. So I'm just gonna kind of go for it and see what happens. Oh, okay, with the instructions, it has pictures. So it actually doesn't look that hard. I'm just gonna go by the pictures. I'm not even gonna read. So I think I just start by putting this on. 
I feel like a penis. Okay, but we gotta put this up. This is like a do-rag almost. The next picture, it says to cut the latex. Did that, and then I'm gonna look like a crackhead with the cuts too. And then the next step, it looks like you, she's just applying makeup. I don't know what all this extra stuff they gave me was, but I'm just gonna go straight to the makeup with this Mr. Clean sponge. How do you know what color to put these? Like these three all look the same. So I think this is how you do it. I think you just dab it, dab it up. I, I'm kind of seeing it now. Okay, you know what, that's good enough. I don't even need to get the back. I think that's good, I'm done. <laughs> um, ignore the fact that you could still kind of see it. I wait and just like that. <laughs> I'm bald. Ah This is actually kind of creepy to look at. I'm kind of seeing it before I wasn't seeing it. I'm seeing it now I don't like it. Wow. See I didn't even need I didn't need to read instructions I feel like my head is too small to ever be bald. It just I don't think it matches. These are starting to itch I want to take them off <laughs> Ugh. This is probably what you're left with after a circumcision. I'm not gonna lie, in like 30 years if I do go bald, I wouldn't be opposed to getting like a hair transplant if the technology is updated because I do not think this is my look. I would be fine doing that as long as it doesn't turn out like foosy tubes. Okay, well, we need to move on. Let's hope it never comes to this. <laughs> Moving on to the next item. Now, I think that this Sounds like it's gonna be the most interesting thing I bought today. If I put this white looking goo on my face, it's supposed to make me look old. Like, you know that, that face app thing that you can put in your face and it's gonna make you look old? Well, this is supposed to do the same thing, but in real life. It's called Old Age Stipple. It says Old Age Stipple is a latex preparation for simulation of aged and wrinkled skin for professional use only. Okay, now I looked it up and to apply it, I kinda have to stretch my skin and then apply it. I'm done applying it everywhere. This is not what it's supposed to look like. What is this? How did I mess this one up? Maybe it has to dry? This did not make me look old. It just looks like I don't know how to apply makeup. I'm gonna show you guys, this is the tutorial I was watching. This is how they apply it. See, even they put kind of a lot on there and it fades away. It doesn't just stay on your face like this. Look, he looks older. I wanna, I wanna be a boomer. Okay, and moving on, our last movie prop item. A lot of times in roles in movies, the character being played requires facial hair, but sometimes the actor might not have, so they need to fake it. There's a lot of different options, like they had this one. <laughs> or like a pirate beard for a pirate movie. But the one I bought, I went for a more kind of realistic looking beard. And one reason this seemed interesting because online it said, okay, it says real human hair. Um, ew. So I haven't even looked at it yet. Whoa, I, I thought I ordered a full beard, but apparently I just ordered a goatee. What? This is someone's real hair. This came out of someone. It's kind of soft. Oh, what part did it come out of though? Okay, so let's apply it. In an instant, I should have facial hair. <laughs> I, can't, I can't even smile. I glued it so I can't even really... No, okay, that's a smile. It doesn't look that realistic, I noticed, because my hair isn't black. Like, my hair's kind of brownish, so it doesn't match. I can't smile. I don't know if it's like 100% realistic though. I think it can work though if I'm like, if I wanted to get like an extra sample at Costco, they probably wouldn't say anything. Some of you have wondered what I would look like if I just let my facial hair grow out. This is what I'd look like with a goatee. You like, you like what you see? I look like I studied like theater in college. Ow. Yeah, now this is the look I was going for. This, I think, is an actual option I can go with. I think if I let my mustache grow, it can get to not this good, but close. I always see comments, people say that my small stubble is a pedostache. This is a lot closer to a pedostache. If I was a pedophile, this is the mustache I would get to abduct kids in. <laughs> 
Oh God, I need to stop. This video is over. Okay, that's all I have for this video. Now you guys all know how to make professional movies. I appreciate all the patience with the videos. I'm working on a lot for December, ones that I'm actually excited about to film and put out. I also wanna mention this. I wanna do another video where I listen to the voicemails you guys send me. I kinda wanna make this a video, an extra video that on a day I wouldn't normally post. So send questions for a Q&A to this number, or it doesn't have to be questions, it could be anything really. I did some voicemails live. I actually live streamed a couple weeks ago and doing it live was something else. I'll link my live streaming channel below if you wanna catch a future one. I think I am eventually gonna do more live streams. I already did two. Um, What else do I have to mention? If you missed last video, I mentioned that I now have merch. I'll show the different designs on the screen right now. I really love the two hoodies. I've already seen, and you guys have tweeted me some pictures of you wearing it. I love seeing a design that I thought of. I love seeing it, people wearing it. I just love it, it makes me happy. What else? I'm plugging a lot of stuff. I'm talking, I need to stop. So I'm gonna end the video there. Thank you all for making it to the end of this video. I love you guys and hopefully, I'll see you next time.